that's a bummer. Um, I'm a little worried about Justice League. Like, my only worries that I have about Justice League, I love the casting. To Wyatt's point, I think Aquaman looks fucking badass. I like everything they've done from a casting perspective. The problem is, are they literally going to go in and just say, this is the Flash and he's just the Flash, accept it? And this is Cyborg, he's Cyborg, just accept it? This is Aquaman and that's just who he is, accept it? Like... Are they going to feel the need to show us, like, origins for all of these characters that we haven't met in this universe yet? And if they do that, this movie's in trouble. I hope that's not what they go out I don't do. think that's what they did because uh, I, I get what they did in the first one. I understand why they did a rush job on everybody and introduced a bunch of people and they have these – what did they call them? Like, Lex Luthor had a file on every one of them. They were called metahumans. Mm-hmm. And that was like, you know what? In order to, they got ten years. They're playing catch up against the Avengers. They don't have a choice. It's either they start. For, oh, they start from you know from the start and build it up like the Avengers, but they're already behind. Or they try to play. They try to get you know six to five to six years all in one movie. Mm-hmm. And so they said, let's just have these metahumans. Who gives a fuck if we have an origin story for them? Let's just call them metahumans, um, and the world is now used to them. And and throw them in there, and so that this movie doesn't have to have them. They're going to have introductions, but I don't think they're going to have origins. I think my biggest fear is not only do I think people are going to rip this thing apart before it's even open, and I'm going to have to defend it. What I think I'm going to, what I'm worried about is that this movie can't be okay. This movie has to be fantastic, and if it's fantastic, then people are going to say it was good. Yeah. They're not going to say it's fantastic. They're going to say it was good. And if it's not fantastic, then you can say bye-bye to, to Ben Affleck. And Literally. all of it. I think you, they blow up the whole thing and start over. Yeah. I, so here's, here's another reason for hope. Let's remember that very – this is not a good thing, but obviously um, Zack Snyder's daughter committed suicide sometime during the filming of this. He couldn't finish the directing. Obviously, he needed to be with his family. Um, and they brought in Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon obviously did Avengers 1 and 2, Firefly. I mean, he's, like, my own personal god. Like, Joss Whedon is, yeah, he's amazing. He's, 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 he's the best. My cat's <laughs> name is Joss. <laughs> like, yep. like, uh, like, absolutely the best um, best director at uh, getting a group, at, at directing a group and making a group feel like a cohesive unit or a group feel like one character is probably the best way to say it. Like, Firefly, the TV show... It wasn't like Mal and, and River and Simon and everybody else. It was just the crew, right? It was just the crew. Um, and he did that with Buffy, and he's really good at directing a group. So I have hope that Joss Whedon came in and gave his own little personal touch to this movie and sort of created something special with it. And I'm hoping that's the case. There's an interview with Ben Affleck where Ben Affleck said Joss Whedon saved this movie. Like, it quote, like that was from Ben Affleck. So that gives me hope. Um I think that... That's a shit on Zack Snyder, though. <laughs> it is. Somebody who just lost their kid. Maybe it well, will, yeah. Especially coming from him, Maybe too, it is, but Zack Snyder... You might have worded that differently. I love Zack Snyder's visual style. Love it. But I do feel you like Zack Snyder... You can tell this movie still has that visual style. Yep. Uh, visual aspect Definitely. to it. Definitely. little slow-mo action going on. And yep. It doesn't look like Earth. No. That's the problem with Zack Snyder. And whether it's a problem... It, it's not a problem in some of his other movies, but I, that when I see the previews, I'm like, are they on Earth? He it doesn't maybe, even yeah. look you know, like I never it. even thought of that, but that's so true. I look at every one of those fight scenes, and I'm like, okay, some of them look like they're in maybe a spaceship or another <laughs> area. But when they're fighting, I'm like, what planet are they on right yeah. now? And then maybe they're not on Earth for all I know. Another dimension or all I know. but Another dimension. Another dimension. <laughs> but, like, and that's the problem with Gotham and Metropolis is that it's not New York City. Um, and I can relate to New York City. I can't relate to these two new cities. And if that's fine, they bring yeah. those in. Obviously, they have to because it's Batman and Superman. You have to have Metropolis you, and you have to have Gotham. But when you have these big battles and you can't have a city that looks like Chicago or New York, you have to have it look like more of a futuristic, artistic city like Gotham is, then you're like... It's just another it thing just that pulls you out. Just yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, it just gets me out of it a little bit. Yeah, that's. I think... If you think of DC movies, I think that's why you can really enjoy, you know, The Dark Knight and those kind of movies because they were made in Chicago and they weren't stylized in that kind of way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm and just... I wish they would have continued that style. I wish they would have continued. Every, I wish they would have created the Justice League with that Batman because that would have been a completely different. It would have differentiated them completely from Marvel. It would not have been DC trying to be Marvel. It would have been DC being DC. Yeah. Let's give, I don't, and this is 
this is all leading up to my topic. This was my topic, but the, to wrap it up, what are our estimated review scores for Justice League? You know, obviously this means nothing. We have no idea what this movie's going to be like. We have no idea, but like, in your heart of hearts, when we watch this movie, we come back, we do our reacts, and we give our reaction to it. What do you think our score is going to be? Our scores? Yeah, our personal scores out of 10. I think I will give it a 7 out of 10. I think it will get a 5 out of 10. Okay, let's do it that way. I like that. That's what I think is going to happen. And I'm going to spend the rest of my fucking life defending that movie. And I'm going to get tired. And That's what, like yeah. I just did with Man versus, or Batman versus Superman. I'm just going to, yeah, it had its flaws. But I enjoyed that movie. Brogan and I walked out of that theater. I absolutely enjoyed that movie. And I'm, I'm not looking forward. I was surprised the next day. We saw it opening night. Mm-hmm. I was surprised when I went to work. And I was like, man, do you guys see it? And then I was just bombarded mm-hmm. by all these people who either saw it and just spit out what other critics said yep. or um, hadn't seen it, but then was criticizing and arguing with me. It and felt I'm like, like a viral, I was viral bad score. Yeah, like, I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm, I'm having to deal with this. Is most of my, it was most of my day at work. And again, yeah. it had its flaws for sure. Yeah. For sure, had its, the Martha moment was inexcusable. But that's one moment out of an entire movie. Like, the action was great. We can talk about it all day. But, yeah. So you say 5 out of 10 is what you think it's going to get, and I'm you're going to give it a 7, seven out of 10. Yeah. Gus? I feel like I'm going to be a hard critic on it, but I... I would say 6 out of 10, and okay. I, I agree with you on a 5 out of 10. I think people are going to give it that. Okay. But I think that it, that a 5 it seems generous. I think that they're going to be negative in their commentary. Yeah. I think they're going to say they're 5 out of 10, thing. it wasn't good, instead of 5 out of 10 is a good thing. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think I'm going to walk out of there with my mind blown because I am such a fucking DC fanboy to see all these characters on the screen uh, together for the first time. Um, in live action and with, um, you know, Henry Cavill's going to be in there. Superman's going to be in there. So we haven't even seen, like, the full lineup yet get together. And what if we get, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a call that we get some really awesome fucking post-credit or, like, nod to Green Lantern at some point through this thing that's going to get us fucking jacked and pumped up and, like, ready to go. And so, like... No, I'm it's going to be another dark there. side illusion. Yeah, exactly. That's really what it's exactly. going to be. And so I'm going to walk out of there with, like, a, a 9 out of 10. And I think it's going to surprise critics. I think critics are going to end up around, uh, like, a 7 out of 10. And I think that's going to be a hard thing for them to... Do, like, a hard pill for critics to swallow. They're going to look at this and be like, you know what? This is pretty good. 7 out of 10. Um, and I think their main critique, I'll even go one step further is going to be something about, you know, how the, the plot doesn't make sense or it was rushed. There's too many characters that we didn't Avengers. know. And it's not the Avengers. And then, yes, like Wyatt, I'm going to get blue in the face arguing that, you know what, the Avengers is just a good movie and everyone just really likes it because of the action. And, like, if you really look at, like, the like ethos and, like, what's driving that movie, it's not that deep. Yeah. Just, like, this isn't going to be that deep. And yeah. it doesn't need to be. Let's remember that these are heroes in spandex fighting each other with capes. Like, uh, at the end of the day, it's it's not supposed to win an Oscar. Yeah. It's supposed to be a fun thing to watch. It's just like reading a comic book. That's what these movies are. Well, I hope you're right. That's what the Marvel I hope you're right. right. I agree. So, that is my topic. Uh, Wyatt, what is your topic? Oh, well, we didn't even do it. We Now's the time it. for topics. topics. He doesn't know that. Gus doesn't know he it. Doesn't That's know fine. Him. That's fine. That was good enough. I have to get your wife. <laughs> yeah, go get her. Okay. So, Gus, do you Tell read, do you read comics? Um, I have. I don't have a lot of them. I used to watch the cartoons a lot. So yeah, and I like TAS to, and Batman TAS. Oh yeah, all of yeah. them. Yeah. Um, and I go to. Com- I used to go to Comic Con every year at Denver when they first started holding it, oh, awesome. which was awesome. That's really uh, cool. But I consider myself a comic book fan, even though I haven't read the comics, just because I never really had anywhere to buy comics. Is she coming? <laughs> I made her come, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that sounded weird. Um, what, why not I went to San Diego Comic-Con at one point, so you should come to us. That's that awesome. would be awesome. It is awesome. I think, you know, I think we could get some press badges now, to be honest with you. Fresh would, badges? No, press badges. Oh. Like, cause we and got a lot fresh of, badges. We got some listeners, you know. Thank you, yeah. Russia. Shout out to Russia <laughs> for getting us into that's comic true. I, That's true. Aren't you, if you're like, if we you register it. as a podcast or yeah, a we news can thing, they give you... Yeah. Pre- like, they'll even, give them to anybody. We could record there, too. Yeah, yeah. They'll give them to anybody. All right. That's awesome. Well, your wife... Your wife was in bed, and I made her get out of bed. <laughs> good. Yeah. So, so, damn, that's good. Is she coming, or what's the deal? She said, well, yeah. Well, that's just Owen. Hey, man, our dog just came in. Hey, you coming? 
She said she's coming. Okay. But she's um. So f- okay, there she is. Thanks. All right. I, was, I thought I was gonna have to. So this is this a game. Time. This is a game, and Kendall is gonna join us. Um, because she said she was super pumped about it and was really excited, but then hopped right into bed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna do a game, and it's a not a quick fire game, but um, I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to make up or I'm going to make up a hashtag. So I invented a hashtag. It's just random words or maybe it's out there. Maybe it's real. I don't know. I don't use hashtags. But I made up a hashtag and I want you guys to tell me a tweet that involves that hashtag. Okay? And so it's a quick fire game. Say buzz and I'll call on you. you and say tweet tweet? <laughs> okay, tweet tweet. <laughs> So we're saying tweet, tweet. You say tweet, tweet, I'll call on you, and you get to say it. And if it's something I find entertaining, you get a point. And you can do it multiple times. Those who's lies anyway style. Yeah, who's lying. And you get to do it a couple times, and then I'll move on to the next one. If you get three points with that one tweet, uh, or uh, if you come up with three tweets and there are three entertaining ones, you can get three points, okay? All right. All right. You guys ready for the first one? Yep. All right. The first one is Curtain Crust. Say hashtag, one more time. hashtag curtain crust. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be... Tweet, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I feel... Tweet, 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 Yeah, go ahead, Brogan. Thanks. Uh, guess it's time for spring cleaning, question mark. Hashtag curtain crust. Oh, just to get man. us started. Just to get us started. I like it. <laughs> um, that, that is... <laughs> you, no, I'm not going to like give you a point. Win. <laughs> I don't know if I give you a point for that. Uh, tweet, tweet. Uh, Brogan. What a douche. Hashtag curtain cross. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would actually be one. <laughs> I hate it saying it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> curtain crust. Nobody? Nobody knows? I don't. I'm just, I just got ones that are so dirty. Go. Let's go. Oh, it. We want to hear them. Tweet it. Tweet, tweet. Candle. I can't. Do it. Try one. Do it. Come on, try one. Just say it's it. Real. For our Russian listeners, try one. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Go ahead, Kendall. I thought it was called a Superman, but he yelled curtain crust. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hashtag curtain crust. <laughs> wow. That's okay, good. Kendall gets a point. <laughs> I feel bad. She's, okay. Do you have any more? I told you. Do you have another one? <laughs> she has another one. All right, next one. What do we got? All right, hold on. So Kendall's up by one. Yeah, we got one. Next one is panty crickets. Hashtag panty crickets. That awkward moment when... Shit, I lost it. (laughs) (laughs) Tweet, tweet. Brogan. Uh, Staying in tonight and eating some pizza and ice cream and just watching Netflix. You're over 140 characters. Panty crickets. (laughs) Wait, wait, what's the tweet again? It's uh, Hashtag panty crickets. Tweet, tweet, failed yeah. again tonight. <laughs> Hashtag panty crickets. <laughs> I'll give it to you guys. I feel like I'm not getting any points. Because <laughs> yours are just normal tweets. All right, what do you got? Uh, next one. All right, next one I is. I got a good one for that one, and I lost my delivery. I'll let, you, I'll let you do it now if you can think of it. Redo it. Tweet, tweet, Kendall, go. Tweet, tweet. Go ahead. That awkward moment. See, I, I can't, I can't deliver it. I don't have the delivery. Just try it. I Just it say the head. words. Pull through it at this point. You have to. It's all built to. up now, and this is on the air. That awkward moment when you go to third base and she turns it down. Hashtag panty crickets. That's, yeah. that's, oh, that's, that's good. That's, that's a good it. one. Yes. <laughs> you just had to go for it. Over 140 <laughs> characters. To be honest with you. Probably, to it probably it. was. It all probably right. was. Uh, these aren't real tweets. You could just said like. <laughs> oh, they upped it to 240. Yeah, oh, that's right. All right, this one might. Uh, crunch and my grunch. Ew. Why are these all? <laughs> this is the only thing I can think of. I'm sorry, guys. I got some normal ones, maybe. Nope. No, I don't. Tweet, tweet. Go ahead, bro. Should have changed my pants. Hashtag crunch and my grunch. <laughs> <laughs> Get me on the board. <laughs> crunch and my That's good. <laughs> Give him the point. <laughs> yeah, okay, I gave it to him. I gave it tweet, to him. Tweet, tweet. What's up? It's Thursday, and these are my Tuesday underwear. Hashtag crunch in my grunge. Oh. <laughs> you Southern should say, days. wearing my Tuesday underwear on Wednesday. Crunch <laughs> in my grunge. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to get my own point. One. All right, I'll give you that one, though. 